I think the car that stuck most with me was the original V16. It was so exciting to see that car in the hands of Juan Manuel Fangio when he had his first drive in it at Fockingham. It was a fabulous noise and um, the sight and sound of that car has been an abiding memory ever since. Well, I suppose my first memory would be earlier than that, in the late 40s. I don't know why, but as a small boy, I was with my father one time when he went over to Bourne, where Raymond Mays lived. Raymond Mays approached him in the years after the war because he had this vision of a British car to take on the Germans and the Italians that had dominated motor racing in the pre-war years. My father was a patriot, so he was always up for challenges of that sort. And if he took something on, he would see it through to the end. He never gave up. I've been uh, passionate about BRM since I worked there, and uh, I remember this noise, this fabulous V16, which it had got a fearsome reputation revving to nearly 12,000 revs and eventually developing 600 horsepower. An awesome machine. It is the 70th anniversary. I would love to see those original cars run at racing speed. Given their age, the only practical way is to build some more. In a selfish way, I'd love to experience the sound of that car again and share that experience with others.